Five? Yep. Yes. Well, okay, no, it's, no, sorry. Tattoo, Tattoo 665. Six, 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 we are. Okay, Tattoo 665. Cool. Tattoos and other We're not selling crystals or doing haircuts. So. <laughs> Um, okay, guys, we're live. Good morning, Mark. Good morning, Caspian. How are we today? G'day, um, g'day. Hi, boys. Interesting topic. Um, some new tenants in a tattoo shop. We're going to go into a little bit um, about that process. But just quickly, people get tattoos for many reasons. For attention, for self-expression, for artistic freedom, rebellion, a visual display of personal narrative, uh, reminders mm -hmm. of yep. spiritual, cultural traditions, sexual motivation. Yep identification okay. or even drunken impulsiveness i think there's uh, yeah. possibly oh. one in that that might be um might relate to me somehow but i'm gonna leave that to the audience's imagination um good morning guys caspian tattoo 665 um we'd love to know a little bit about the story where it came from and how you guys got started well, uh, I've um, I've been an artist for a long time. Um, I've been I was I was the kid in uh, school that would draw blood coming out of Jesus's wounds and stuff, and the nuns were all pretty freaked out back in uh, Byron Bay when I was a kid. And I just took that further as I as I went on, and I, I just always loved drawing pictures and like um, what, I, I just really enjoyed it. And um, during the nineties, I was in a rock and roll band, and I used to do all the rock posters and all that sort of thing. And then when that had a very unceremonious end, I um, I decided to throw my hat in and become an artist, even though with like a myriad of other jobs and stuff like that. And it was the world's longest apprenticeship. Let's say my career path was very, very strange, but it was it was awesome. And um, all of a sudden, I started doing artwork for bands like Corn, Incubus, um, Pink. I've done artwork for Red Hot Chili Peppers, Metallica, Wow, um, Justin Bieber. Uh, I've done Justin art for Williams. I've done, <laughs> done Florence and the Machine. But like a lot, yeah, I've, I've had a really amazing client list. I feel so fortunate to have to have stumbled into that. Like um, it was, and it, and it happened by chance. My brother was running. My brother was uh, working in a surfection store just up the road years ago, and yep. um, the no, general manager of Sony us. walked in and uh, said, "Did that?" Yeah, right near you guys. Yeah, way back in the day, and uh, he, he saw a board. I did. Back he said, "Who did that?" My little brother said, "Up, oh, my brother." And uh, next minute, I'm doing artwork for Corn, and then Incubus, and then Australian Idol, and then it just it sort of snowballed. And then, then I had my children. Well, I had one of my daughters, and I thought, "Geez, there's not enough bands coming to uh, to Australia to, to you know supplement." They started doing children. So <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> I start, I had children, so I had I had to start earning money, you know, regular like on a regular basis. So and um, so I just uh, I, I got into tattooing and it turned out it's it's been amazing for me. It's taken me all over the world, you know. I've um, I've tattooed in all all throughout America and um, I, I started in quite humbly down in Man I, in DY actually. I started I did my I was the world's oldest um, tattoo apprentice, so that was kind of strange having all these young blokes, you know, just order me around and stuff. I didn't like it at all, but you know you've got to grin and bear it. You got to walk cr crawl before you can walk. Yeah, and um, and I. I took to it and um and yeah now and and now I'm so fortunate to um during COVID I I, I wasn't working of course um I got really fat and I was just watching a lot of Donald Trump video videos I became obsessed I even thought about trying to get the haircut going but I thought that would be way too much work <laughs> <laughs> I've had I've had a coffee too so I always and, I, and I've just trained so I'm very excited right now uh, and um so my wife my wife and I hatched the uh oh. Looks like he's uh, conked out for a sec there, Mark. I'll see what we can he do. He might jump, jump back on there. While, while he's, um, he's getting some air, he'll come back. Uh, <laughs> um, tell us, how. so the locations in DY, what an amazing guy. Oh, what he's an amazing guy. Unreal. And um, like, Talk about the tats he's done for so many people. Wow. Yeah, so he's got a bit of a pedigree behind him, as you can tell. Um, yeah, I wasn't. I wasn't even aware that it was that extensive, but um, it's all coming out today, which is good. That's unbelievable. Yeah. So um, these How guys did you recently. What's that? Sorry. How did you meet? Um, so Cass and his wife Ellie, um, they they just sent an inquiry through the agency. They were looking to find a new shop, 
And yep. um, they mentioned to us that they wanted to get a tattoo studio going. And um, Ellie and I, well, Ellie's Welsh and I've lived in Wales for a while. So Ellie and I got on well to start off with just from that little affiliation. And yep. um, anyway, it ends up that we found a, found a, um, a shop for them on the road. And these guys just went straight for it, straight on um, Pitwater Road, three at 665. Yep. And, um, you know, you, with this sort of business, you need some straight from street prominence um, yes. and exposure. So it's a great little shop. It's about 70 square meters or so. And um, here we go. I think yep. Caspian's coming back is. in. There he comes. There he is. Sound's gone again, Legend. I believe, though. Yeah, we'll get that fixed up. Yeah. So tell me, the, oh, there's the shop there. That's cool. Um, <laughs> So it's connecting to audio. You're back. I can hear you. I'm. I'm so sorry, guys. I had. I had just had issues. Then. Uh, yeah. It's. it's uh, technical issues. I, I. I. love them. I love them. You gave us some great information. Um. That we we're just having. We we're just having a bit of a chat about just then. Bloody awesome! And congratulations. That's. That's huge. So we were just saying what. What. What a big. What was the word you just used, James? What a big. Um. um. <laughs> What a, um, what a, what a <laughs> I think, like what a thoroughbred you are, like, like you know, pedigree, I, pedigree. Well, I, I'm, I'm, I, I'm, I think I'm like most Australians. I, I am, uh, I'm, I'm more of a mongrel than a pedigree. But um, I have, I, I have, it's a, uh, I, I, I can't complain, you know. Like, but my, I've, I've always had a pretty good work ethic. Like, I, I, just like Novak, you know, you guys, you guys do a great job, and, and you know, I really appreciate all the help I've had here getting this joint, securing the place. The biggest problem I had um, with the whole process was actually getting my tattoo operator's license. Like I felt as though that that dragged on for three and a half months, and I was and I was thinking, why? What? What have I? What? What? what why haven't they given it to me? You know? And uh, yeah. eventually I got it. So there was all my fears were just about about nothing. But of course they just they just let you hang on. I'm like, really, guys? Come on! I'm like I'm during COVID. I'm trying to open a new business. Like, come on, guys! You had the concept. You had the shop. You had the yeah. fiat guys ready. You had the yeah. dream. You but just, what, it just that was a block. I will, with the, with the last two months, I just started. I just started. Just I thought. I thought. You know what? I got to do this. So I just started dropping money on it, and I just thought, if if it doesn't work out, it's only money. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. You know I mean, which is wow. you know, which, 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 which sounds like a very ridiculously privileged a, position but i was prepared to lose it but you got to be prepared to lose it to win it don't you yeah you yeah. got it good and a good pun now can you give us a little tour and, and through the yeah. shop okay guys so here's here's the here's the main street here but what we've yep, done here row. is we've got this DY. we've got we've got this beautiful fluoro and then if you, you can That's see a lot sick. of my a lot of my artwork on the walls here show us we've got, clothes we've got this chesterfield sort of setup going He's, he's, he's one of my, I love doing a lot of surfing imagery, which is, and look, we got Gary the Seagull right here. Um, Gary. Look at how good's Gary. Gaza. I fell in love with seagulls. I used to just think they were sea rats, but now I now I love the things. They're and, beautiful. Um, you got all these, I, I love birds and skulls. Yep. Here's, a, um, here's, an old, here's an old band poster, I, like from back in the day. That's my, that was my band's first EP. Wow. And we've, got, we've got a whole bunch of other artwork. That's that's my co. I did this during COVID. It was my response to the bushfire, fire starter. Wow, that's sick. And we've got more. So barrels. how long would that take you to do that? Just for instance, that, that the fire, fire starter. The fire, the fire starter. The fire starter took an inordinate amount of time. Actually, I was just in between Donald Trump videos. I'd be going down to my garage and just uh, painting that thing. And uh, it, it took a while, you know, I'd say it's probably about a good 40, 50 hours working that one. Yep. So just because I went ham on the detail, we got, look at this mirror, look at this mirror, guys. How amazing is that? Show us. It's a cool this shop. Thing. You've done well. This mirror is cool. amazing. And we've and got Cassie, like, are you so guys, feminine of you. Are you guys selling the, the artwork as well? So you've got a slight we are, we are, we are. element we're, as well? We're, we're selling the artwork and it's, it's going gangbusters, you know, we're just, we're, we're really... It's just, just to have this platform to be able to show it in this environment is, is amazing, you know? Yeah. So we've yeah. got so and then we've got out the back, we've sort of done a little bit of a vibe here. There's my wife, she's very angry hey. at me for getting her out of bed this early. And we've got we've done we've done these big sort of storage sort of vibes here. We've got a little sink yeah. out the back, obviously. Yeah. And so and you guys have completely refitted the whole place. 
Yeah, yeah. We yeah. had to. We had to. We had to make it COVID, COVID safe. Yeah. Um, like people friendly and also like an artist friendly. So there's there's a few things to consider there. Pretty small general general things, but you know, we, Show we us just, the chair. How good's the chairs? Show us the chair that uh, where you get the tattoo. Oh, here, like this, is, uh, this is one of the beds. If, uh, so there you go. You lay. You sit down there. You you uh, yeah, sit down there. Semi laying down. You grab, one, you grab one of these guys here. Yep. This is a uh, work. This is a this is a for, to, to put your arms on, and yep. the chair the chairs are fully maneuverable. You can uh, lift them up, put them down. You can uh, change the legs, sort of set up. You just, so, yeah, Cass, when people come and see you, so yep. do they say like they go, "This is exactly what I want." Uh, no, most, look, of the, it, most of the time. Well, as uh, as James was uh, describing before, there are so many different reasons why people get tattoos. Sometimes you're sort of um, commemorating the, the the passing of someone, like a like, and this and, and that 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 can be quite a traumatic experience, especially. But you try to lift them up. There's there's this, there's so many ways to skin a cat, you know, for want of a better sort of analogy there. But like some people want to, um, some people come in with very definite ideas. Other people come in with really pedantic ideas that they want to maybe move it a millimeter to the left, a millimeter to the right. No, I like where it was sort of thing. Those people are great. But um, but like so like these days, I, I feel very fortunate in that um, most of my customers trust me implicitly with what I do and they just like like allow me to go for it. I do prefer some parameters because some people go, oh, you're the artist, you know, do whatever. So I'd say, well, <laughs> how, about, how about we do Santa Claus riding a dragon, getting barreled at Pipeline? And they'll be like, oh, no, I don't want that. I mean, well, you know, well, well then don't leave it up to me then, mate. Just give me some parameters. You know what I mean? There's, there's, there's a million ways to sort of get there, but you just got to try to, and that's part of the hustle with tattooing, like trying to, trying to fulfill people's um, expectations and dreams, you know, because it, it's yeah. a very personal thing. And then, and then there's the frivolous guys that come in and go, hey, mate, can you do a soccer ball on me foot? I don't, give it, I don't even care, mate. You know, and I'm like, if they're too drunk, I won't have anything to do with them because the last thing I want them to do is wake up in the morning and go, that bastard, you know what I mean? So, wow. So, yeah. hey, hey, Cass, proudest tattoo. Oh, look, oh... That's really tough. I've actually been, I've tattooed, I've been tattooing a friend of mine, Timmy, uh, who's a legend. And I've done so many great tattoos. Like, well, you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say great, I'm Australian. I mean, you know, we don't talk ourselves up too much. I've done a lot of tattoos that I really love doing. And, and, he, and he sat like a rock, even when he was in excruciating pain. Um, there's like, I've done a really cool barrel and like an underwater scene on him. And, and, I, and it keeps growing. I just, I love my aquatic themed stuff. And, um, and Tim's, yeah, like Tim's color packing. He's got, you know, really, like white white skin so the colors just pop on him and and he's just uh and he's a lovely bloke and so i'd say i'd say tim davis is tim and he's, he's, he's a career professional rugby player he played he, yeah he's a just a top little nugget of a bloke he looks like a um a, a yeah, wrecking ball but he's just he's just an awesome awesome guy to tattoo and i'd say some of my proudest tattoos have been on, on tim for sure i've tell you a lot tat? Of, sorry we strangers tat Oh, look, mate, you, you get some strange ones, you know, like some of them, some girls want to get tattoos really close to sort of areas and round areas and things like that. And I won't, I won't elaborate on that too much, but um, they can be quite strange. Uh, oh, I, I, one, one, one lady uh, wanted me to tattoo her name on her, right? And uh, she already had her name tattooed on her. And I'm like, so you want me to tattoo your name? You've already got your name. on. So what, what you need, you need your name tattooed on you twice? Like, uh I mean, okay, but like, wow. <laughs> why? And so, wow. Yeah, so you really do experience the full range of the human experience. Sometimes you'll, you'll be tattooing like really accomplished lawyers or doctors or entertainers. And then other times you'll be tattooing these really sort of like strange individuals that are pacing around the room and stuff. And you're like, oh, mate, okay, right. Oh, but you know, you so you sort of you get pretty good at dealing with people. So it's, um, it's an interesting job. There's never a dull moment. I will say that. Wow. Now, just just to elaborate why we are having a chat today, um, yep. you've just moved into DY in the Northern Beaches as a com for a commercial business. Yep. Uh, James James connected you to the shop. Yep. And uh, you're in there. You're starting your business. You've started in the hardest part of the economy in COVID and stuff like that. You've been super brave. You've braved also... Um, getting a license and all that. Um, how are you going? 
Look, mate, I we've had a massive response. My wife is an absolute freak at marketing. Like she's amazing at it. Like she's like I, I you know, like at, at first she's like, okay, we're going to do this giveaway, and that giveaway. I'm like, how much is that going to cost? And I'm sort of like, oh, I'm freaking out. And and she goes, babe, it'll pay for itself. And I'm like, yeah, whatever, because you know, I'm a I'm a hands-on sort of tools kind of guy. And she, but she's like a, she's she's doing all these amazing, amazing things with with um, promoting the shop and. And also, and like I like to think over time, I've got a bit of a good name, and as you as you guys said, pedigree. So a lot of people know who I am, and and I've also got the, the fortune of having a really great artist coming with me, um, Nick Nick Amble. He's amazing. He's really he's cut his teeth, and he's a great artist. And I've got another guy, Leo, who's great. And if you produce the quality, then you, you're going to have the customers. And and you know the funny thing about the downturn in the economy. Everyone seems to have money for surfboards, wetsuits, and tattoos. You know what I mean? Everyone's got like a five, five, six hundred bucks spare, where they don't, they don't have like the big tick. You know, so so many people. So yes, yeah, so so no one's traveling. No one's, no one's doing what they'd usually be doing. You know, especially during winter, where people just get out of the country. Everyone's hunkering down and and doing and doing their uh, and doing their own thing. But it seems. The, the, the people have got money for tattoos, which is which is great for me, you know. And I and I and I, and I was coming into this thinking, you know what, I, I'll probably have to just be here by myself for a while till I get customers. I mean, customers, and but I just thought I have to do it. And um, but I've been so fortunate that I've got such an, an amazing marketing um, machine that is my wife and great people around me as well. I just, I just feel very very blessed at the moment. How much does a tattoo cost, Cass? Is it paid by the hour or is it yes, paid by the piece? We, we, we do it. it it's 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 well some places charge by the piece but i find it it's more fair if you charge by the hour because like like some people can like look at a look at a piece and have a really inflated price on it yeah and it could take an hour and a half whereas if you charge by the hour it's two it's 200 dollars an hour which sounds like a lot but when you think about all the work that goes in to a tattoo like the the like you, you could spend a day drawing and then the day tattooing so you effectively so your hourly rate can can vary even though you're charging 200 dollars an hour it's sort of, and it sounds exorbitant. It isn't really. It's 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 actually for life. And if you want to get a good tattoo, you need to you know have good people doing it. So, you know, it's well, like well, the like, risk the risks are pretty uh, pretty real if you don't I, get it I, right. I have seen I have seen guys. Oh my god, I have seen tattoos that would just like make turn you oh you just, turn your stomach, <laughs> guys. I mean, oh. I, I was watching block block botch last night. The uh, you know when they operate on bad operations and they have to fix yeah. them up. The, the uh the exactly. um, <laughs> the guys. So I could imagine some botching jobs with tattoos. My favorite ones are spelling mistakes. You know, like um, <laughs> this one guy, this one bloke I know, who was doing a commemorative tattoo. And this is this this is, we shouldn't laugh at this, but instead, so so the guy's grandfather passed. In 2014, oh. but the, the guy that the guy that did the tattoo wrote 2,104, and I looked at him and went, "So, so this guy's got another 90 odd years in the ta- and and they go, oh what? And I'm like, oh mate, yeah, it was it was mental. I thought it was a postcode, nice. and I was, I was I was sort of, I made I made a bit of a joke of it, but yeah, like these things happen. You really got to be on top of your game. You you, you know, a lot, and you see a lot of tattooists that, and also the another thing with tattooing is a lot of people who tattoo pretty much think they're curing cancer and and it's like mate you're not you're drawing pictures bro like just relax you know just pump the brakes on the ego will you you know it's it's, it's, a, it's a funny old game you know yeah i think Goal. i think from what my take on the whole situation is it's a good lesson for lots of people out there from what you guys have done um well, i've got yourself on one side of the scale and another party on the other side of the scale that were going through a da process they'd locked a property in but they hadn't signed their lease um, they were waiting on a DA to come through. And as you were saying, there were three and a half or so months where um, it wasn't happening. And you're not quite yeah. sure why aren't they giving it to me? When is it going to happen? Is, are they not going to give it to me? But you just committed to it. You knew it was going to happen in the end of the day, as long as you're doing all the right things. And um, you guys, you're now reaping the rewards. And unfortunately, this other party, um, they lost the shop that they'd already invested lots of money into um, because they wouldn't sign a lease because they were wary that the DA wasn't going to come through. But for the most part, it will always come through. Mark, you'll hopefully agree with me there. Ninety-nine percent of the time, you're going to get your DA approved, um, unless. Oh yeah, and look, and I think what Casper you did is you backed yourself. You know what I mean? You sort of um, you put yourself into such a corner where it had, it had to come good. You, you know, whereas a lot of people would have started just getting cold um, and just they 
you know, they would have still got it, but they sort of backed out too early. So you, it's, it's, oh, yeah, it's, pretty, it's pretty, uh, pretty cool what you did, and uh, and that's going to follow through in your business. That that's obviously follow through through if, in your if, business if, week if, by if week. You, if, you, if you're going to do it, do it. You know, like if yeah. you if you, yeah. if you get cold feet and you start and you start worrying about what could go wrong, you know, yeah. like if your if your headspace is in that in, in that mode, then it will go wrong. You know, because and 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 look what happens. People lose lose what potentially very lucrative spots because they won't commit opportunity you, you yep. just gotta you yep. just gotta run it you gotta commit you know it's otherwise you get otherwise you, you could lose more money by you know you're not committing you know it's, uh, yeah. Anyway. Well, so yeah it's, it was a great lesson and, and and i've got to say my experience with you guys has been awesome you guys have always you know it's and and, and i'm really happy I'm, I'm stoked i'm beyond stoked that i that i that i took the uh i took the took the chance you know and here we are you know it's awesome yeah in a great spot hopefully lots and lots of success to come like the shop is amazing i've been down there a couple of times in the last few weeks and um yeah we're we're stoked for you as well so wish you all the best awesome. mate that is so cool that is so cool and look it's um it's great to have um a personality like yourself uh in uh, in the northern beaches in dy and we, we're proud we're proud so um such a good such so cool well done i, look, yeah. I will i i just want to i just want to say look like, I, I just I love the Northern Beaches ever since I, I moved here from Byron Bay and uh, Byron Northern Beaches is like you know Byron Bay but it's it, it's it's got a more of a community feel believe it or not because Byron Bay is just full of transients. Really? <laughs> but uh, oh yeah, it's crazy and uh, I, I yeah I just I love the beaches I love my people and I love I'm, I'm looking forward to all my my new friends and the, my my other my friends that I already have coming down and just enjoying it because it's a real family vibe i'm doing this for my daughters my wife my people you know i just I, i'm just really really stoked i couldn't be beyond stoked actually guys to be here and uh yeah gentlemen. Absolute Absolute gentlemen. just to just to give you a little bit of an extra pat look we've got some comments on here this morning and um everyone's just here saying what a legend love this guy um <laughs> yes. love hustle like mate keep it up you've got such a like just such a great personality and so much energy that comes from it so um yeah Big it rubs time. off on people in the right way which is an unbelievable <laughs> Big well time. thank you I, I don't know i'm not really good at taking compliments guys i feel a bit uh a bit <laughs> shy right now but uh thank you so much for your kind words now we're gonna if, look if this doesn't work out we're gonna make you a great real estate agent yeah <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we'll All see, right. bro. We'll see. <laughs> All right. No, All right. You, well, take, you take care, eh? Thanks. Yeah, boys. No. You too. Thank you so much. Good morning. Thanks, Enjoy guys. your weekend, guys. Now, come on. Now, now, you blokes both need some ink, so you know where to come. All right. So let's do this, huh? <laughs> All right, boys. Have a great day. It's a, have a good one. Thanks, guys. Cheers, yeah. man. Bye. Yeah.